Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Vinoy. This is our teen and adult beginner class. Uh, heads up, before we start the class today, we are going to be working on some wake fall skills. Wake fall skills are how we fall safe, whether in a flight class or walking out and about. We're practicing falling safe, which is a very important skill to have. So I would recommend for today, you practice these skills either on a carpeted floor or some kind of cushion. Um, I would not really recommend practicing these skills on a hardwood floor or a uh, tile floor. But if you want to try it, go for it. Just make sure you're practicing safe, most of all. Okay? Um, if you're watching these skills later on your own, and maybe you're doing them um, on a cushion surface, on the bed, whatever. If you're doing it on the bed, make sure you're careful not to fall off the bed. Okay? Practice in the middle. Um, and remember, just practice safe. Okay? All right. Enough of that. Let's get started. Here we go. Come here. Start with jumping jacks. 25 jumping jacks. Ready? Set. Go. Hana. To. Set. Net, toss it, yes, go go, yo, aho, yo, hana, to, o set, no net, no toss it, no yas it, no yo go, yo, aho, small, small hana, small to, no set, small net, no toss it. Good, down for push ups. Ten of your best push ups, take your time. Go, hana. Tall, set, net, toss it, yas it, over, yodel, I hope, yo. Good, when you're done, have a seat. Next up is sit ups. Remember, when we do sit ups, keep your legs on the ground, trying to swing them up as you walk back. 15 sit ups. Go. Hana. To. Set. Net. Toss it. Yas it. Ugo. Yodo. Aho. Yo. Hana. To. We'll set, we'll net, we'll toss it. Good, when you're done, butterfly stretch. Feet together, holding close, and then bring your chest down to your feet. Five. Four, three, two, one. And relax. One leg out, other leg in. You jump and reach down to that foot. With the same side hand, I'm reaching straight. With the other hand, I'm going to try and reach over my body just a little bit and stretch out my side here. Switch, other side. And relax. Both legs out in front. Reach up. And reach down towards your toes. And relax. Stand back up. Chuya. Chumwe position. Kima jase. Horse back riding stance. One hand out, one hand in. For pokey, means center punch exercise. One hand forward, other hand back. Center punches. My command. Hana. To. Set. Ne. Tatsu. Yasu. Ugo. Yoro. Aho. Yo. Good. This time, double punch. One hand and the other. Hana. To. Set. Net. 
Toss it. Yes, it. Here we go. Good old. Aho. Yo. Good. On your own, 20 punches. Key up on your first punch. Yeah. And then when you're finished, yeah. Key up on your last punch. 20. Ready? Go. Yeah. Yeah. And butto chumbi position. Okay, go ahead and have a seat on the floor. We're gonna get started with our break fall skills. Now, our break falls are some of the most useful skills we learn in the karate class. Obviously, self defense is important. Um, the amount of times I've used my self defense, though, um, probably once maybe. So, hopefully, you can go through your life without having to use your self-defense skills. Hopefully you can use your words, hopefully you can get out of the situation. Hopefully you get some confidence learning these self-defense skills, but hopefully you don't have to actually use them. If you break fall skills, you're a lot more likely to fall over than you are to get attacked by a ninja on your way to the parking lot. So break fall skills are useful in the karate class while we're punching, kicking. If we fall over, we want to be able to fall safe. They're also useful just walking down the street. If we're walking down the street, we fall, it's very easy to get ourselves hurt even from a short distance, from a short fall. So we want to learn how to fall safe. We want to do it safely, very closely round. So we shouldn't actually get hurt doing it here. And that way we can get some knowledge on how to do it safely in the future. So most importantly, when we fall, we want to keep our head safe. Our head controls our whole body. If our brain gets hurt, it's a lot harder to fix that than the rest of our body. So most importantly, we want to keep our head safe. We want to start with our back break fall and we'll start from a sitting position. So to keep our head safe, I'm going to do all these falls today with our chin tucked. I bring my chin down to my chest and tuck it in. That's going to help keep the back of my head safe. So I tuck it in here. The next step is I'm going to cross my arms across my body. And then from here, we're just going to practice this rock. I'm going to rock back and rock forward. Unlike with our sit-ups, I'm going to swing my legs a little bit back and forward. Just go ahead and practice that a little bit on your own. Cross your arms, tuck your chin, and then practice this rock. Rock back, rock forward. Rock back, rock forward. Get used to this motion and get comfortable being on the ground. Good, and relax. So now I'm going to add on the slap. The slap is to stop our momentum so we don't go too far. Obviously, right now we're doing from seated position, we're actually really falling. But if I fall with a lot of momentum and I rock back, eventually my head is going to hit the floor, which we want to avoid. So the slap is to try and stop our momentum so we don't hit our head. So I'm going to cross my arms, tuck my chin, rock back, and then slap the floor. Slap close to your body. So I'm making this kind of arrow shape with my arms, a triangle shape, opposed to slapping out here away from my body. We get this straight line shape. We don't want that. So bring it close to your body here. And most importantly, wait till your back touches before you slap. If I slap too soon, oh no, broken wrists. Oh no, I hurt my elbows. We gotta wait until the last second after our body hits the ground, but before our legs go over and our head touches the ground. All right, let's practice together. Cross, tuck, rock back, slap. And we sit back up. One more thing, I know there's a lot going on right now. Try to breathe out when you hit the ground. So you can either just breathe, or you can key up tip when you hit the ground. Whatever you prefer, but try to make sure you're breathing out when you hit the ground. That way the air doesn't get knocked out of you. Here we go, cross, tuck, rock, slap. Good, practice that for about 30 seconds on your own. Ready, set, and go. Cross, tuck, rock, slap. Make sure your head doesn't touch the ground. Cross, tuck, rock, slap. Cross, tuck, rock, slap. Cross, tuck, rock, slap. Good and time. Nice to done. So now I want to do level two. This one we're just going to be slightly higher off the ground. If you're noticing you're starting to feel 
If you're starting to get hurt a little bit from these falls already, you can stick to the seated version or you can take a break and watch for just a minute. But I'm gonna move up to level two. Level two is just gonna be from the crouch position here. So from standing, all I do is crouch down, put my hands on the floor. So now we're just a little bit high off the ground. From here, we have the same steps. Cross, tuck, rock back, and slap. Practice level two if you're up for it. Ready? Get set and go. Crouch, cross, tuck, lock, slap. And time, nice and done. Okay, next up, we're gonna practice our side break fall. So our back break fall, obviously, like when we're falling backwards, our side break fall, we use when we're falling to one side or the other. So again, we're gonna start from the seated position. Whichever way we're falling, we're gonna put that leg out. So if I'm falling to my right, I put my right leg out. If I'm falling to my left, I put my left leg out. So I'm falling this way, so that leg is out, and that arm is gonna be crossing and slapping just like we did earlier. But because it's a side break fall, we're only falling on one side, means we're only using one arm. The other arm, I'm just gonna keep in close to my body, either put it up in front of your face or grab onto your collar. But this hand, I just wanna keep out of the way for now. I'm falling to my right, my right leg is out, my right arm is out, I cross, I tuck my chin, I'm locking the side, and I'm slapping to the side. Now let's practice it with out the slap first, just a bit earlier, and get used to the rock. So from here, have both arms, grab your collar, tuck your chin, and just rock to the side and sit back up. Again, rock to the side and sit back up. Okay, so now I want to add the slap. This one particular, the side break fall, I see a lot of people slapping too soon and then they end up hurting their arm or their shoulder or something in there. So make sure you're lying all the way on your side before you slap the ground. You don't want to be halfway down, kind of up on your elbow or up on your wrist. Lie all the way down and then slap. Here we go. One leg out, same arm out. Other arm can grab a hold of something. Cross, tuck, rock, slap. Good, and sit back up. Again. Cross, tuck, rock, slap. Okay, so we have one more foot I didn't talk about so much. The one leg we're just keeping straight. The other leg, I wanna bend when I do my break fall. I'm just gonna touch the ground with the ball of my foot here. All right, let's switch it up and do the other side. Put the other leg out, other leg in. I'm falling to my left, so I'm using my left arm to slap. Cross, tuck, rock, and slap. Good, make sure one knee is bent, one leg is straight, we're all the way on our side. If both of your shoulders are touching the ground, that means you're on your back, you're doing the wrong technique right now. Roll up so only one of your shoulders on the ground, make sure you're on your side. Let's go again, same side. Cross, tuck, rock, slap. Good, and relax, watch up here a second. So now you're gonna alternate back and forth one side and the other. So I put one side out, cross, tuck, Rock slap, I sit back up, I switch the other side, I cross tuck, rock slap, and then I switch the other side. Go back and forth for 30 seconds. Ready, set, and go. One side, and the other. And time. Okay, so now I'm gonna try level two. The side break fall is probably a little bit more challenging than the back break fall. Depends on what you think, but I think side break fall is probably the more challenging of the two, especially from level two. So do your best. If you wanna to stick to level one, you can stick to level one. Level two, we're up in the crouch position here. 
This one, it's a little tricky to keep your balance. But I'm gonna keep my hands on the ground for now and put one leg out. That's the direction I'm falling. So I cross that arm, tuck my chin, walk to the side, and fall. So it's the same one we just practiced, but just a little bit higher off the ground. Crouch position, one leg out, cross that arm, tuck your chin, walk to the side, and slap. Okay, let's practice 30 seconds from level two. Ready, set, and go. Remember, breathe out when you hit the ground. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, well done. So now we have the back break fall and we have the side break falls. Going forward, we do our rolls or our forward break falls. We'll get to those a different day. Okay, hopefully you guys aren't too sore from all that falling. Like I said, if you're gonna practice this on your own, I recommend practicing on something soft and squishy. Carpeted floor is okay, a mattress, a cushion on the floor, something like that so you don't get hurt while you're practicing, okay? All right, let's go ahead and stand back up. We're gonna move on and do some combinations now. Let me see what you got. Yeah. Right leg back, fighting chance. Yeah. Okay, let's warm up with a simple combination. We're just gonna do front hand punch, back hand punch, and front kick. Tia, Chua, Asa. Punch with one hand, punch with the other, and then back leg front kick. Here we go, my command. Hana. All three techniques. Toll. Set. Net. Toss it. Chote, switch your feet. Ready, Hana. Toll. Set. Net. Toss it. And kyote, switch feet. All right, so now I want to add on our back fist strike. So our straight punches come forward, come back. They're always going straight ahead. And we're always hitting with the front of our hand, these big two knuckles here. Our back fist, I'm going to point my elbow first and then bring my hand around to hit with the back side. I'm hitting with the same big two knuckles, but the back fist, hand to name back fist. So I pull my elbow forward, I snap my hand out, I strike here, and then it comes back. We're aiming for the side of the temple right up here on this technique. So now we're gonna do, let's practice just the back fist first. Ready? 10 times on this side. Hana, to, set. Net, toss it, yas it, yoga, yodo, aho, yo, kyote, switch your feet. Now the other hand, we're always using the front hand for the back fist. The back hand is a little bit awkward to do the back fist, takes a little bit, uh, a little bit longer. So front hand, back fist, ready? Hana, to, set, net, toss it, yas it. Ugo, Yuro, Aho, Yo, Kyote, switch feet. So now let's put that together. It's gonna be back fist, straight punch, and front kick. One, two, and three. Ready? Hana, To, Set, Net. Pass it. Yes it. And kyote, switch feet. Remember, front hand is the back fist. Back hand punches straight ahead. Finish with the front kick. Ready? Hana. To. Set. Net. Toss it. Yes, it. And kyote, switch feet. Our next combination, 
We're still going to throw that back fist. We're still strong, throwing a straight punch, but this time we're going to finish with the roundhouse kick. So round kick, my leg comes up and around, and then I kick with the top of my foot. One, two, and three. Ready? Hana. To. Set. Net. One more. Pass it. And kyote. Switch feet. Other side. Same thing. Back fist. Straight punch. Roundhouse kick from the top of your foot. Hana. To. Set. Net. One more. Toss it. And bado. Show. That means relax. Okay, so now I'm going to do um, some rounds practicing on your own. We're going to do one minute for each. No, I'm not going to do quite a minute. We're going to do 40 seconds each combination. So I'm going to repeat the same three combinations we just did. This time you're going to be switching every time you do the combo. So repeat after me, say kyote. Again, kyote. So kyote means to switch. So let's practice just the switch real fast. Make a fighting sense, put your hands up. I'm gonna jump in the air, try and move both feet at the same time, and switch to the other side. We're actually a little bit vulnerable when we do our switch. If I'm in my fighting stance, I'm a little bit sideways. I'm not facing straight ahead. When I turn a little bit sideways with the one foot back, it eliminates target areas. Our body is wider this way than it is this way. So one foot back fighting stance, I'm a little bit more narrow, I'm a little bit safer. When I switch my feet, I end up revealing that broad side of my body and I'm a little bit more vulnerable. On top of that, if I'm switching my feet, I can't really effectively kick and I can't really effectively retreat or get out of the way. So we're vulnerable while we're switching. So we wanna eliminate as much of that vulnerability as we can. If I jump and switch fast, I'm in that vulnerable state for less amount of time. Now, obviously, if I'm sparring or I'm in a real fight, I would probably want to create space before I switch my feet. So I'm going to throw some techniques, see if my opponent backs up a little bit, and then I could switch my feet by retreating or switch my feet here, but we might want to create some space. Either way, though, I want to practice switching our feet fast. So when we switch, I'm just going to jump and switch. Let's practice. Hands up, fighting stance. Ready? Kyote. 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 Good speed. So we're just switching our feet back and forth. So now I'm going to do the combination. It's going to be front hand, backhand, front kick. Put all the way back. And kyote. One, two, three. And kyote. Switching back and forth. Here we go. Front hand punch, back hand punch, front kick, and switch your feet. Ready, set, and go. That's it, looking good. Punch, punch, kick, switch. Punch, punch, kick, switch. Make sure you're breathing out on your techniques. Or better yet, yell. Tia, two up. Asa. Let out some energy. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Nice. All right, now we do the same thing with the next combination. Next up is going to be our back fist, straight punch, and front kick. Tia, tua, asa, and kyote. Back fist punch, kick, and switch. Always make sure you're hitting with your front hand first. So as we're switching back and forth, that switches every time. Our front hand's one closest, that one does the back fist. Punch, kick, and when I switch, now the other hand goes first. Here we go, back fist, punch, kick. Ready, and go. Make sure you're extending that punch 
both the back press and the punch actually, as far out as you can. All the way out, all the way back. Halfway, keep it up. Remember, fast switches. Fast techniques are okay too, but don't get sloppy. Three, two, one, and time. Nice enough. All right, last combination was our back fist, punch, round kick, then we switch. Back fist, Punch, round kick, and switch. Back and forth. Ready, set, and go. Nice round kicks, Veronica. Keep it up. Always hands up while you're doing these techniques. Back fist, put it back up. Punch, put it back up. Round kick, keep those hands up while you're kicking. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, last combination. This one we're gonna get a little bit interesting. You are going to choose your combination. It must be a three-part combination with two punches and a kick. So if you want to stick with one combination we just worked, you can do back fist, punch, kick, right? You can do punch, punch, round kick, and the stuff we just did. If you know other kicks, you can do other kicks. So it could be punch, punch, side kick, punch, punch, axe kick, punch, punch, back kick. You can get some fancy punches in there, or pull up uppercut, whatever. Get creative if you want. Three-part combination plus I'm going to add in a break fall to that. So I'm doing one, two, three. Then I'm going to crouch down into this position. Cross my arms, tuck my chin, rock back and slap. Then come back up and make a fighting stance on the other side. One, two, three techniques. Crouch down, break fall, and then pop up on the other side. Make sure you're practicing your break fall safely. Don't rush them and get yourself hurt. Always take your time. If you're still too sore from the big falls earlier, it's fine to skip that part, no shame. All right, your chance to get creative. Three techniques, big fall and switch. Ready? Last minute. Get set and go. Tia, tua, asa. Big fall and pop up on the other side. Tia, tua. Asa, and break fall. Remember, breathe out when you do the break fall. Good, keep going. I'm watching to see how you guys are doing. Keep it up, keep it up. I know you're tired, that's kind of the point. More than halfway. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Keep that chin tucked. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, well done. Sure, that means relax. Fantastic job of everyone with these break fall skills. Are some of the more important skills we work on. Um, I know sometimes we get a little bit sore practicing them, but it's really good to be able to practice these skills over and over. Remember, practice makes permanent. When we practice our skills, they get, become more permanent. When you're falling, you don't have time to think about what you're doing. Your body is just going to react the way it's been trained. So when we train ourselves with our break falls, we train ourselves to fall safely even when we're under stress, even when it's a split second situation, hopefully these break balls come out and hopefully you keep yourself safe, okay? So real fast, these classes we're doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at five o'clock. Next week, the schedule might be changing. So stay tuned, I'll make sure to post um, and let you guys know what time it's gonna be. It might be changing a little bit, so stay tuned. If you guys would prefer an earlier or later time, or if you really like this time, 
let me know so I know what time to set it up. For you guys who have not been joining us live and who have just been watching the recorded versions, if you would like to join us live for these Zoom classes, we might have more options to invite more students out into the Zoom class. So if you're interested, stay tuned. If you have questions, let me know. If you prefer a different time, let me know. Okay? All right, let's bow. Should we up? Yeah. Right hand up. Hana, tool set. Tongue Class is missed.